good ball game. We are at the half in Wisconsin. The Badgers leading Arizona State 13 to 10. If you haven't been with us, Wisconsin took the lead very late in the second quarter. But Arizona State has come this close on a couple opportunities. They could be up by a couple of touchdowns. Dennis Erickson has to tell his football team, you must play another two quarters, full quarters, every snap like you did in the first half if you want to have a chance to win this game. They only have one senior who started in this ball game. Yeah. It's a very young football team. So we saw it last week with Tennessee. They played a half. Well, the better team came out and smoked them in the second half. And that happens with young football teams that don't have leadership in the huddle. Well, they certainly have speed. There is no denying that, and it has been on display here in the first half, including a 95 and a half yard kickoff return on the last play and a half that was stopped at the half yard line. Middlebrooks, the guy who went 95 and a half, was deep to receive this kick. Instead, it goes to Bolden, who had a 97-yard kickoff return. Let's take a look at our Pacific Life game summary. <laughs> They're clapping like they tackled the kick return, I guess. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? I'd applaud, too. 226 yards for Wisconsin, but only 57 yards rushing. Normally, Wisconsin will have 57 yards rushing on the first series. Threep will start from his own 24. And throws over the middle of George Bell. And Bell should have a first down at the 35-yard line. 6'3 junior came into this ball game without a reception. Has made four catches in this game. Stephen Three, if you don't get to him, he's proven he's going to find and hit the open receivers. I look for Wisconsin to change that look defensively with the pressure. Running play is not going to get him anything as Blake Sorensen takes DeAndre Lewis to the ground. Good news right away when you look out there on the field for Wisconsin, if you're a Wisconsin fan, is that number 99 is back in the huddle. And that is good news. The bad news is number 44 is not out there, and that's Chris Borland, their outstanding linebacker. He's in civvies on the sideline. Three under pressure. Steps up and guns complete up to the 45-yard line. Very close to a first down. Mike Willie, who has been held in check pretty well, made that catch, and it is just enough for a first down. I just like the way that, that this offense moves it around. Three with his feet looking down the field. 13 different receivers with a catch on the season. Last year they had 15 total that had to catch, so they spread the ball around. I like that. I like his demeanor, too. Under pressure, he's just very cool. Here's the screen. We get the pass to Marshall. Marshall's got another first down at the Wisconsin 44. Three just looks in total command of the offense. The timing's there, isn't it? They're in rhythm. No pressure on him. Exactly. Down the field, they throw the ball to the middle of the field. All of a sudden, they come back, and they run a screen pass. So this is a really well-executed offense, and Noel Mazzoni, the new offensive coordinator, doing a nice job of dialing plays up. Marshall is the running back behind three. Now he offsets to the left and will get the carry and runs right in the middle linebacker, Palmer St. Jean, number 15, the young man out of Naples, Florida. And they've either been stopped at the line of scrimmage or they've been able to break one. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like Wisconsin on second and ten has been able to stop uh, uh, and, and prevent from the third and short. And they certainly have not been able to stop the short passing game. Of course, that's easier said than done, too. Three looking right, throws that way, and a perfect strike to Kerry Taylor, who has been his favorite target in this game. Five catches. 
Now, again, I'm going to go back and say Arizona State's offensive line, given all the love and everything out there, but watch the defensive line and how they move. And there's movement coming around in the middle. Nice job passing off on the left side. Good job picking up pass protection. Mike Marcis doing his job. It's just it's it's just groomed. They're well executing this this offense and the plays that are called. Three pump fake down the middle into a crowd intended for T.J. Simpson. But he was surrounded by red jerseys. The other thing that's been impressive about three Craig is that he will be throwing from the near side hash marks to the far side on an out cut and get the ball there in a hurry. He's shown some good arm strength. Well, it, it, it's a match for his skill set, his talent, this offense, the spread open. Trying to beat Wisconsin with two different schools. Taylor, good tackle there, and Taylor is down inside the 20. They need to reach the 15 for a first down. Oh, interesting there. You know, Wisconsin did bring pressure wide side of the field, brought a fifth rusher in. Running back stayed in and blocked and protected, and three threw away from the from the pressure. Third and four. Good protection. Three throws for the end zone. That's going to be interference. No, no flag. No flag. Holy cow. Niles Brinkley looked obvious from up here that he got there early. I'm, I'm with you, partner. I, I thought this was pass interference and. I mean, all over. Oh, it's him. all over. I just don't see how you missed that call. Boy, and the officials right there and did not call it. Three saw it where he was. Of course, he's got a vested interest in it, too. Uh, they'll try the field goal to tie it from 36 yards. And we are tied at 13. But Arizona State denied an opportunity to get a touchdown on what appeared to be a blown call. Arizona State, a big underdog at Wisconsin, have tied the Badgers at 13 with 11-11 to go third quarter. And we will go back after the kickoff and show you what we feel is a blown interference call in the end zone. Weber to kick. White and Ewing are deep. Ewing is back there as a blocker for White number 20. White from the goal line. Nice return out across the 30. And I think while we're showing you this again, we're not trying to bust on the officials, but this is how close Arizona State is to having, again, more points on the scoreboard. That's clearly, clearly pass interference. Not even a question about it. And, and so Arizona State, they can't get frustrated. They just got to hang in there. I don't want their job. I can't do their job. Nope. But sometimes they blow. Yes. What does Wisconsin want to do on offense on this series? They come out throwing. Tolzien gets it out in the flat to Aubrey Darris. Let's go to Robert Flores. All right, Mike, time for our AT&T All-America Player of the Week update. Arkansas's Ryan Mallett, 380 yards, three touchdowns, including the game winner as Arkansas beats Georgia 31-24 for Mallett, three consecutive 300-yard games to start the season. Text vote to 345-345 for a chance at a trip to the national championship. Gain of nine. Clay has not been much of a factor. Aubrey uh, Darris, the other side, up to the 45. How do you see that, Craig? Here's a guy who was such a tremendous running back behind this huge offensive line, and they just haven't used him very much. It's a numbers game right now. You've got you've got numbers inside by Arizona State's defense, and they're just trying to get outside and loosen up the Sun Devils. Eight carries, 42 yards for John Clay, who came into this game averaging 130 yards a game, 10th in the country. 
First and 10 from the 46. Clay powers his way this time. Still on his feet, dive to the Arizona State 41-yard line. Clint Floyd got a piece of an ankle and made the tackle. Gain of 13 for Clay. And you know what, though? They, they I said they were throwing outside, but there's your linebackers. You've got your safeties. Look how hard and tight they are in there. But yet, Wisconsin doesn't care. Safety's up strong. They still are able to push, create an opportunity for Clay to run the ball. Monty Ball will give him a breather. New set of downs from the 41. Ball off the right side, nothing. And that speed filled those holes in a hurry. Oliver Aaron, who has played well since he came in for the injured Brandon McGee, got that tackle. I, I, I'm watching for the, a new line of scrimmage. Watch the white shirts to see if they get pushed back. They don't. There's no new line of scrimmages. You know, when you've got a 323 pound average up front, at six, five and a half, you know, you may have to drop your fanny a little more to get leverage underneath those Sun Devils. But that's what they do is move people off that line of scrimmage. They haven't been able to do it that much today. Ball again. Lost his balance and was tripped down to the 36. It'll be a big third and five for the Wisconsin offense. 8.54 to go third quarter. I know this. I wouldn't have thought at halftime that Arizona State would have more rushing yards no. than Wisconsin, and they did. White checks in. Tolzien's been very effective in this situation. Yeah, they're three of seven on third down. Arizona State showing pressure. Instead, they come with that four-man rush again. The pass underneath. Ball comes loose. What a hit. Was that perfect? It was. Vontez perfect. Just unloaded on Kyle Jefferson. Hello. Oh, man, what a good football player this guy is. You know, he's just a smart guy. We've seen him now a couple of times, Mike, where he's gone back, fallen into the play, and drilled the receiver. Whoa. Oh, what a shot. Now, he's had problems with being overly aggressive. He's had problems with being late. He hadn't had any problems today. He's just been good. Nortman to punt. And Bolden is deep. He'll let it go. Wisconsin able to down it at the one-yard line. Excellent special teams play by Connor O'Neill. A punt of 34 down inside the two. In Buick Regal, Taco Bell, think outside the bun, and Wrangler. It's the Babcock Hall Dairy Store. One of their ice cream favorites is Barry Alvarez. <laughs> Three out of the shotgun in his end zone. And straight up the middle, Lewis. Deontay Lewis tripped over the 30 yard line. Holy cow, one block away from going all the way. Still, it's a gain of 32. And you know what? As he gets up in there, the, as Tommy gets watch the umpire. Gets in the way of Aaron Henry where he can't make the play. And we have a player that needs attention. And it's the Wisconsin middle linebacker, Palmer St. Jean, who is back in the end zone. You know, when we talk to these coaches at Arizona State, DeAndre Lewis is the home run threat for them. Now you see another opportunity right there. That's a missed opportunity. That's a home run. That was a 98 yard run in the making. It, 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 it had all of it. And, and have a blowout. The turf monster grabs him at the 34. <laughs> and they have had so many opportunities that have come within a half a step of breaking huge runs for scores or huge pass plays for scores. And Wisconsin's really been hurt by injuries. This is the second starting linebacker 
to come out. Earlier they lost J.J. Watt. Their all-conference contending defensive end. He's been able to come back. But Borland is done with a shoulder injury. And now you've got Ethan Armstrong, number 36, a freshman, as the new middle linebacker. Lewis again. All right, let's take you back and show you the missed opportunities for Arizona State. This is the pass that's knocked loose in the end zone, should have been caught. Then another pass to George Bell, who just had a toe out of bounds. And then that great 95 and a half yard kickoff return to end the first half, which was a half yard short. Then the missed interference call, which would have given them a new, a new series of downs. And three throws incomplete. Incidental contact on that one. And Aaron Flugrad who was their leading receiver coming into this game with 12 catches, a transfer from Oregon, and has been a non-factor in this one. And he was covered up pretty well there, but again, there's plenty of time for three to throw the ball down the field. We've got several key missing parts now, a couple of linebackers that aren't there for Wisconsin, and so this is going to be really important and hard for them to job, do a good job of recognizing the interior routes. Cameron Marshall is back in as the running back and three bobbled the snap and down he goes. Never had a chance. Jay Valai got there first. Kevin Rouse, an inside linebacker, got there to clean up and three didn't have a chance after he dropped the snap. Is this the theme of the 2010 season? Quarterback center exchanges? How many Apparently. times do we see quarterbacks dropping balls from the with a snap? And it almost always is somebody lifting their eyes to look down the field rather than looking the ball into their hands. Trevor Hankins will punt. Aubrey Darris is back at his 16. Kicking game has been huge today. Almost a block. Aubrey Darris gets this one out. No, Aubrey Darris lets this one go after the great kick from Hankins. And it rolls down to the 12-yard line with the roll 60 yards off the foot of Trevor Hankins, who led the Pac-10 a year ago in punting. Welcome back to Wisconsin, where we have a 13-13 ball game between the Badgers and Arizona State with 6.20 to go third quarter. Wisconsin will take over from its own 12. John Clay's not uh, on course to keep his string of eight 100-yard rushing games intact. Tolstein to throw. And there's that same guy, Lance Kendricks, makes his sixth catch. And it's perfect because we're going to look at Kendricks in our good hands play brought to you by Allstate. Yeah, because hey, John Clay's not there, right? The corner. That's right. Yep. Great catch in the corner for a touchdown on a perfect throw from Tolsey. Can't throw it any better with a guy covered like that. Hmm. Kendricks, in case you joined us late, on the Mackey Award list for tight ends. And around Abre Darris to the 38 yard line, a gain of 15 in the first down. As a result of the formation change at the very end, Lance Kendricks, number 84, the tight end, does a nice job of sealing the inside. Watch to your left side there. He's able to get the leverage. They're all able to get leverage and allow the corner by Flugrad to get outside. Aubrey Darris, one of those guys that got an opportunity to play because other people were hurt. He has made the most of it. And now he's a fixture in that offense, Clay. Picking his way straight up the middle to the 46 yard line. I, I don't know the feeling up here. Now you've got a young Arizona State football team. They've been hanging and hanging, tie game, missed opportunities. We've shown you. Now it's now it's up to focus, really, because you, you know Wisconsin's not going to be flustered. They have lots of experience on their side. You have to wonder if that huge offensive line eventually is going to start to wear down the smaller defensive front for Arizona State. It certainly hasn't happened yet. Second and two. Clay first down and more to the Arizona State 46 yard line. 
stop by Oliver Aaron. What it will do if they are able to continue the pace of five and six yards a clip. Number 84 comes back into play. Paul Chris, that offensive coordinator, sure. will dial up a play action pass in a heartbeat as soon as he sees those safeties cheating in the box. 11 carries, 71 for John Clay. He's out, and Monty Ball, or check it, James White, is into the ball game at tailback. White, nice hole. White off the right side, 30. Pushed out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Well, maybe they are getting some traction up front, Craig. That was a gain of 17. And a nice job by Brady Ewing, 34, the fullback of sealing backside. And you don't see that Arizona State defense coming off blocks like they were. And it's, you've got to play with intensity every snap if you're going to beat one of the top teams in the country. An impressive Wisconsin drive right here. White again. Behind Cons. You gotta be a pretty good center to pull and get out in front. I just want to, this is athleticism. You snap the football, you have to move, look at the middle of the field, watch it, watch what he does. I mean, you, you know, snap it and then you get around and you're running with the quarter horses around the corner. I mean, that's just, that's just, it's a, it's a real luxury. It's a luxury even in the National Football League if you sure can find is. a center who can pull. And to be able to get to the corner and deliver the block, very impressive. White again, another nice hole. This time it closes and he's taken down short of the 19. They need to reach the 18 yard line for a first down. Bolden was in on that stop along with Burfitt, the middle linebacker. What are you thinking here? If, you, if you're hollering advice in, from Craig Bray, the coordinator. What are you telling your guys? I like play action to Kendricks. Of course, I always like play action. Well, I do, <laughs> especially when you got Kendricks. <laughs> That's what I'm hollering. Wisconsin in this half, nine carries, 77 yards. Clay's back in, so I'm guessing run. Clay. Touchdown. They didn't throw it to Kendricks. They let him block. Well, that drive, they pretty much stuffed it down their throat, didn't they? That's kind of, that's what they thought they were going to do the entire game. Clay was 48 yards in this quarter after he only had 42 the rest of the game and Wisconsin with its best drive and watch this here boom this this there's the play and the action it's just not a play action pass getting to the outside clearing the way for Clay to go in and score Lance Kendricks is a heck of a football player isn't he though it's an 88 yard drive their best of the day And I will bet you Brett Bielema is thinking, hey, that's the way we're supposed to play. That's Wisconsin football. I don't think that's what he's thinking. I think he's thinking, do we kick this ball high and deep or do we squib it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you could be right about that. They will think long and hard about the decision they made at the end of the half with 10 seconds to go. Kicking it deep, giving Arizona a chance to run it back. They almost did. Or Arizona State. Middlebrooks and Lewis are deep. Four kickoff returns today for Arizona State have amassed 236 yards. Oh, so what do you think he's thinking? <laughs> Squib? <laughs> Cover? Mm. Middlebrooks, two yards deep.
And a cheer goes up as he's taken down at the 25. Let's check in with the studio. <laughs> All right, Mike, number eight, Nebraska is ranked in the top ten for three straight weeks for the first time since 2002. Taking on Washington, Alfonso Denard picks off Jake Locker, goes the other way, 31 yards. Locker has been picked off twice. Number eight, Nebraska rolling 49-21. Number 18, USC leading Minnesota 19-14 after Robert Woods returns a kickoff 97 yards. Mike, Craig. Mm. Robert, thank you so much. Going to give it off to DeAndre Lewis. And the freshman takes it up across the 30 to the 31. How about Nebraska? A defense, the offense on the road. A lot of people wonder how they would hand playing on the road against Jake Locker. They answered that, didn't they? I think they're handling it all right. This one's batted down by J.J. Watt. You know, Craig, there are certain guys like Bo Pelini, you know he's going to win. It's only a question of how long it's going to take him. There are some guys that just know what they're doing in this business. He is a special one. So is this guy here. This is the fourth batted pass by J.J. Watt. He just does it all. He's blocked a field goal. He's forced a fumble. He just does a little bit of everything to this defense. And DeAndre Lewis, if he's going to try to cut him, he's got to do a little bit better job than that. Third down, Wisconsin trying to bring pressure. Three over the middle, has the first down, another perfect throw. And he hits T.J. Simpson. I guess that just shows you right there the respect that Wisconsin's defense has. You know, Dave Doran comes in with a little different look on third down, brings it, dials up the pressure. Stephen Threet patiently steps up and delivers a strike. Got to be impressed with him. Huh? I am 100% impressed. Play action. Good protection. Three down the middle and just over through Simpson. Had him on a post with no deep safety. Antonio Tanellis had the coverage. We spoke with Dennis Erickson about his football team, and he said, you know, we're not where I thought we would be. And, and yet he understands the, the youth of the team. And uh, I think when you see them play, you, you understand why he has optimism for what the sophomores will do next year and the juniors will do next year. Well, when you only have one starting senior on the team, three out in the flat. He was under pressure. J.J. Watt was coming again. He hurried that pass. And then Watt put him on his backside. Watch how Watt grabs the jersey, yanks underneath the pressure and to the quarterback. And I guarantee you, Stephen Three, he knew that Mr. Watt 99 was coming and made a bad throw. Another big third down. Can they keep the drive alive with a minute 42 to go third quarter? Three changing the play. Blitz coming. Three hangs in there and throws. Tipped and incomplete. Intended for George Bell. And Bell was covered perfectly. Three got crushed by Kevin Rouse. You know what? You got pressure coming from Wisconsin. You get the opportunity that Threet's looking for on the outside, throws it up, oh. takes a drill him right in the mouth. But really nice job coverage there by Niles Brinkley. Staying on the inside, seeing the ball reacting. Oh, what a shot. Woo. Ebre Darris waiting at his 10. Fields it inside the 10, back at the 5. Still on his feet. Well, trying to make up for that mistake, fielding the ball at the four-yard line after a 54-yard punt. Cardinal rule is, is if you back up, just let it go. But he didn't. This week on Monday Night Football, the defending Super Bowl champs take the field. Drew Brees and the Saints against Frank Gore and the 49ers. Monday Night Football on ESPN Monday at 8.30 Eastern. Our coverage starts at 7 with Monday Night Countdown served by Applebee's. So I, I guess I understand Mike Singletary said he's got a rat in his locker room or something that somebody's 
I would not want to be the rat that Mike Singletary is looking for. Well, he hit me several times when we were in college and pros like I was a rat. So I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> don't don't reveal yourself. Aubrey Darris breaks a tackle, breaks another, takes it out to the 35. Gain of 20. Nice throw by Tolzien. Because of injuries to David Gilreath and Nick Toon, Abradarius has had a chance to step in and play. Last week, five catches, 58 yards. Guy that really wasn't even on the radar. All of a sudden, he's a guy. That's why coaches always tell players, you're an ankle away, a sprained ankle away from being the guy. And without his top two receivers, Tolzien is at 17 of 22. Pretty impressive performance for him. Clay. And he takes it to the 39. Eight straight 100 yard games now. John Clay is easing up. He's going to get there 13 for 94. So just like that, a couple of series, and there they are. And this is the point in the game where you just love having a 255 pound tailback. Just a hammer away at guys. Second and six, Clay. Dragging tacklers with him, about a half yard shy of a first down on a run that will end the third quarter. Wisconsin starting to impose its will on Arizona State. They are up 20 to 13, end of three. That's Wisconsin's undefeated volleyball team at practice enjoying this last touchdown that put the Badgers on top. And now they're all jumping around. The song by the House of Pain. And this is always a little disturbing because the whole building moves. I, I, I mean moves. I have waited years to be able to experience that. And I ended up jumping. You don't have to. You just kind of start <laughs> jumping because they're in it. Clay. Boy, good job by Perfect. He just went in there and submarined everybody. I made a comment in the newspapers this week about this Arizona State team and not playing with discipline and the penalties that they had. And I said that it's a lack of intelligence as a player, football intelligence, when you don't do your job and you do something selfish. Yeah. I, 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 I applaud this team today for what they have done coming in here, playing with discipline against a very good football team. That's a great point. And now Wisconsin comes up. They got a chance to go for it on fourth down. They're going to try to draw them off. It looks like it. Yeah, they have no intention of snapping the ball. Mike, again, you just discipline. said discipline. Delay, there you go. Nice job by Arizona State. Craig, that was perfectly timed. And they had gotten in so much trouble. They came into this game 118th in the country in penalty yards. And there's only 120 teams in the country. Mm. They were 120 a year ago. But you're right. They have shown a great, a great deal of discipline today. But Norman came up under center. Now they're going to punt. Miles waits inside his 20. Nice high floater. He's got a seam. Boy, the kick returns have just scared Wisconsin to death. A 25-yard return. Let's take you back a couple of years. 2008 Wisconsin and Michigan. The Wolverines were trailing 19 nothing at home. But Stephen Three threw a third-quarter touchdown pass to Kevin Coger that started a run of 27 unanswered points. He had a 58-yard scramble himself. That set up the go-ahead score. So he's trying to beat this team with his second score. Lewis. 
he gets out to the 47. I can't tell you how impressed I've been by three. Yeah. He has just thrown the ball so well today. The whole team and, and, and the balance that they've shown offensively in this football game. And you see the, the, the punt return picked this team back up. Arizona State looked like the, that the air had gone out a little bit. That punt return lifted them up. Lewis has had a pretty good game. Seven carries, 102 yards. Flugrad out in the flat. He's down to the Wisconsin 45. That's a first down. Okay, now when you speak with Noel Mazzoni, the offensive coordinator, he'll tell you that that play right there is like a toss sweep, really, and that it has to be a perfectly led pass. They have to get six plus yards on that, not a bad throw where the runner has to stop with the receiver. You know, they pick up eight yards on that, and that's just a dynamite, well executed play. And that is a much harder throw than it looks to be. Mm -hmm. Lewis, now. He's swallowed up by the defensive end, the Zegwu. He's had a pretty good game, too, as well as J.J. Watts. Those bookend ends have played well. well I see Colmer St. Jean back on the field for Wisconsin. That's good news. Uh, that's good news. And, and uh, this is a team that's had to, they've had their courage tested today by the Sun Devils. Pressure coming on three. Steps up, throws sidearm and incomplete. Behind Flugrad and Jay Valai was the closest guy to it and another Wisconsin injury. Oh, and that's J.J. Watt again. There are certain key players on your team you literally cannot afford to have hurt. They have already had Chris Borland down. Watt is down the second time. You can't contend for a championship if you lose key players. Simply can't. Now, you know, and I talk about testing their courage and the, and the character of a football team. They've got to step up. When you lose guys, that's the way it is. Everybody else has to make a play. The Sun Devils facing a huge third and 13 here. The pass is going to be about three or four yards shy of the first down. J.J. Watt, as we went to commercial, limped off the field. It appeared he rolled his right ankle. And Arizona State choosing discretion as the better part of valor will come to way. And you know why? Because their, their team has played well today. They don't have to do it with smoke and mirrors and gimmicky stuff. Play field position, good football, and expect your defense to get it done. Aubrey Darris, who fielded the last one inside the five-yard line. End over and kick. He will let this one go, and it bounds into the end zone. The show made by the nation is packing its bags for a Big Ten road trip. Oh, yes. Sports Nation taking its characters and costumes and going to hang out with some of college football's most passionate fans four days in Big Ten country, Monday through Thursday at 4 p.m. on ESPN2. And mark my words, the nation will never be the same. Wisconsin takes over at its own 20-yard line with 11.43 to go. The Badgers on top, 20 to 13. They would like, like nothing better than a long sustained drive. White is the tailback on first and 10. Tolls in to throw. Now he keeps. Lowers his head, takes a shot for his trouble, but picks up seven yards. Uh, I can I, I can venture to, to say that offensive coordinator Paul Chris will, will say, look in, in the meetings, <laughs> don't take on their their middle best linebacker. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a little little slide into second base here at the end of this. Yeah, you don't Ooh. think perfect knows it's the quarterback? <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Forearm shiver. Second and three. White. Get him outside. White picking his way. Huge collision. He's up to the 35, maybe the 36 yard line. There's a flag down back at the 27 yard line. This play is coming back. We've talked about penalties and mistakes. None by Arizona State in this half. Holding 74 offense. 10 yards. Previous spot. 
Still second down. That's John Moffat, the all-conference left guard. And, and you know, when you talk about formations and things, they're two different that we've seen. Now we've saw, seen the I formation on the first play, of which the quarterback Tolzien ran. Then you come back and you get a different look. And they get the leverage and they block down. So Arizona State's got to be smart. They have to look at their reads and recognize formation and do their job. Second and 13, the penalty assessed from the spot of the foul. Tolzien rolling left, throwing left. And it almost got through there to Aubrey Darris. Got a hand on it. But that was a very dangerous throw. But accurate. It was Max it, Tayback may have gotten a piece of 24. Yeah, might have, but this is a pretty accurate throw, and it's a tough. It's in a lot of traffic. A lot of hands going through that football before it gets to your receiver. Devron Carr was the guy who actually got a fingertip on it, and Tayback was right there if he had. So Dennis Erickson's decision to not go for it and to punt could pay off. They've got them where they want them on third and long. These are the plays on which games hinge. Tolzien under pressure. Deep out. Complete at the 32. Anderson makes the catch. So a running team converts a third and 13. That is some throw by Tolzien. Plenty of time to throw the ball. This guy is an accurate passer. 65% last year has picked up and if not improved to where he was. And a senior needing to step in and make a play. Isaac Anderson comes up, runs a disciplined route. He's where the ball is going to be thrown. And that's just uh, that's good discipline on Anderson's part. And we will go under the 10 minute mark. Aubrey Darris on the end around. Picks up maybe a yard. Good play by Greg Smith, the defensive end, to hold his ground. We've been talking about the youth of Arizona State. There are 13 seniors on Wisconsin's team who have at least five starts to their credit. So at moments like this is when that seniority comes to play. Absolutely. Wisconsin taking every second off of that play clock as we're down to 9.21 and counting in this game. And Clay is back in. This is a situation in a game designed for him. Boy, his ankles attract a lot of attention, don't, don't they? He gives through that line of people are going as low as they can go. Ball security is something that, um, that he's good at. And those ankles, when you come up and you're uh, about 40 or 50 pounds lighter most of the time, <laughs> you better go somewhere low because if you get him up top, he's going to, he'll kiss you. Yeah, the ankles are the lightest part that you can find. <laughs> Second and three. Clay. Got him behind the line of scrimmage, and he gets up to the 40. Excuse me, third and two, not second and three. And now this will bring up a fourth down, and Wisconsin's going to have to kick the ball away. That's so that. Arizona State did a brilliant job on Clay. And that's how you stop 250-plus pounds. Don't let them get going. Make Groups. them redirect. <laughs> Groups and make him, <laughs> make him go left and right. Miles is back and every time Wisconsin either kicks off or punts I think the coaching staff holds its collective breath. Arizona State has scared him to death on kick return. Short kick Miles bounces off one tackle avoids another. Jeez he almost broke that one. Wow. He ran for five minutes to get a yard on the return <laughs> after a punt of 38. <laughs> ESPN's College Football is presented by Five Hour Energy. Hours of energy now, no 230 feeling later. For more information, visit 5hourenergy.com. in Wisconsin one of the really neat college towns that you could ever visit 
743 to go. Arizona State takes over in its own territory. Three in trouble. Gets rid of it. Got it to Simpson. Turned a couple of yards loss into a seven yard gain. Well, that's great individual effort, and it's also great news for Wisconsin. You got him over here. He's back in the ball game. J.J. Watt, that's good to see, and he's the one who breaks the pocket down, forces three out of the pocket. Got to make the play and finish it up. You got to get somebody on him to get him down. He's 6'5, 240. They try to run for the first down with Marshall. They need to reach the 33, got to the 32. Culver St. Jean, who was back in there, made the tackle and it brings up a big third down and a yard. Whoever has uh, Arizona State on their schedule remaining, they'll take notice after this ball game. Yeah, they're going to get a face full, aren't they? Yes, they will. May have the best special teams on the planet Earth. Marshall lowered a shoulder, got the first down and more. Dragging a tackler with him up to the 39. Now that was the most determined run he's had today. He knew it was third and one, and he was going to get the one. Weighs well, nearly 220 pounds. Had 104 yards rushing on the ground in their opening week. A lot of power and determination there. 11 carries, 33 yards, but that was his most important run of the game. Lewis comes back in and three wants to throw on first down steps up guns it over the middle flu grad what a catch what a beautiful grab on a bullet <laughs> Stephen three the guy steps up pressures collapsing around him forcing him to move forward in the pocket and flu grad with the focus laid out nice job three's a guy you really root for he has just had bad luck in his choice of schools and their ability to change coaching staff as soon as he signs. Lewis to the outside, 30, 25, 23. DeAndre Lewis turned the corner. There was nobody there. Let me tell you who wasn't there, Mike. Look at the top of the line of scrimmage there, and you'll see J.J. Watt. He just gets pummeled right out here on the outside. He's, he comes down inside. They don't they don't spill it with the linebackers. They don't get out there to fill that void that was left. And you know, it's uh, it's just again execution by the offense. Lewis has rushed for 122 yards today against the stout Wisconsin defense. Flugrad on the outside flanker screen down to the 16 yard line. This is an impressive drive and Somebody else is hurt. Hmm. Well, we've just seen too many guys down for Wisconsin in this game. Let's show you our uh, Pack Life game summary while we check out this injury. And we told you about the kick returns. Arizona State with 261 yards on kick returns. One went 95 and a half yards and wasn't a touchdown. Kendricks made a great catch in the corner. And John Clay gets the big second half touchdown that has Wisconsin ahead 20 to 13. Did, did you say 264 on kick returns? Yes. If it were 264 and a half, <laughs> yes. there's seven more points on the board right before halftime. This is Eric Brightus being helped off. He's a sophomore tackle. Kick returns have just been spectacular all day for the Wildcats. And now they have a second and a long three. With 520 left in this game. Yeah, the, the Badger players, they're imploring this crowd to get into it, to give them a little bit of a home field advantage. Lewis goes one way. They give it to Jamal Miles going back the other way. He'll be a couple of yards shy of a first down. And I think you're obviously in four down territory here with 4.55 to go and down by seven. As well as they've run the football today. 
Trying to pick up a couple yards against a banged up Wisconsin defense. I like their chances. Cameron Marshall is the running back on third and two. Marshall out in the flat, and they're going to throw to him. And Marshall wide open down the sideline, knocked out of bounds at the three. When they didn't run, they just forgot about the running back. He was wide open in the flat, and Stephen Threat again, was perfect on that throw. Hey, what you won't see here, perhaps, is the linebacker, the linebackers not getting out there fast. Colmer St. Jean, Jean, one of those, had come off the field earlier, doesn't have a full gear. He was not able to get out there. That's like a toss sweep in this offense. High percentage, very effective. Four for four on this drive is three. They go with a ground game. Marshall into the end zone. Touchdown. That was an impressive drive. When you've got to have it and the game's on the line, that's when you know what you're made of. 77 yards in nine plays. The point after to tie. Time to make a play on special teams. It looked like Jay Valai, the safety number two. This coming across lays out. Great effort. Probably slow on the time from the snap to the kick. You have to be perfect in every phase of the game. And Wisconsin special teams, while being thrashed in the kick return game, steps it up on extra point block. What a stunning development. Wisconsin still leads by one. The state goes 77 yards to get a touchdown. They're on the verge of tying it, and they botched the extra point because of a blown protection allowing Jay Valai to come in and get a hand on it, and it's 20 to 19. Mike, I keep thinking of the words they used telling us about their program. We just need to get over the hump. We need a oh. break. White is deep to receive. Kicking it around, takes it across the 20, tripped up, goes down at the 27-yard line. So back to the block, Craig. Now you got to be, here's the key deal, you got to be strong in the gap and make the outside guy come around. That's the timing of the play. Instead, Morrison on the outside pays more attention, misses inside to Valai, who's able to come in with the block. Just the sheer physics of it, if the snap is good and the hold is good, the outside guy can't get there. That's what they're counting on. That's the way it's drawn up. Yeah. Morrison with the protection, didn't get it done, and Valai was able to get a gap. Now it's all about can we kill the clock, and Clay is swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. All three timeouts remaining for Arizona State. We're under four minutes. Remember, they have a terrific field goal kicker should they get the ball back. But Wisconsin's going to do everything it can to burn time. Which is, was their game plan coming in this whole game. Yeah. Now, the, again, keep in mind, one of the stars, the star of this game has been that tight end right there. There he is, Lance Kendrick. Play action pass. They cannot fly up and not remember that. There's the fake up the middle. They end up giving it to Anderson, and Anderson goes out of bounds. And there is a flag down late. And it looks like it's going to go against Arizona State. There's the discipline you talked about. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 34, hit away from the play, 15 yards, automatic, first down. James Brooks has been planning on a breakout season, wanting to do extremely well. These are the little things, their first penalty of the second half for Arizona State after seven in the first. 
and it's the personal foul. That that 15 yards, those are the plays right there that Dennis Erickson told us about this week and has told his team. Don't make us have to learn a hard lesson. And this would have been third and long. Instead, it's a first and ten. Now they can burn more time, and Arizona State is going to have to start using its timeouts, you would have to guess. Clay. And perfect dove for the ankles and got him as he crossed midfield. Glad to have the audience who was watching Alabama Duke join us. And we have 234 to go in this game. Wisconsin trying to run out the clock. They're facing a second and four. Up by a point. Clay the tailback. And Clay will get the carry. Dives forward. There'll be about two yards shy of a first down. Arizona State has not stopped the clock yet. No, they, they, they're holding on here, but they're going to have to hope that they can come up again and force John Clay to shift left and right. This has been a team that has hung in there the entire game and has had so many missed opportunities. They will count lots of points that they could have within inches put on the scoreboard. Perfect trying to inspire his defense. Well, they've allowed a lot of time to go off the clock here. Play of the game, third and two. Play action fake. Tolzien hit as he throws. Has a man wide open. It's Kendricks. And Kendricks knocked out of bounds with a first down. What a gutsy call. I just told you, don't go to sleep on Kendricks, right? They've been running, running, running. Right side, you're going to see how patient he gets lost in the traffic. This is bread and butter. Scott Tolzien, one of the more accurate passers in the country. They know when to call the play. And we've said, if Arizona State's secondary wasn't disciplined, they were going to get burned. What a nice play call by Paul Christ. And now Arizona State will have to use the timeouts. We're down to 121. Play. I don't think there's going to be another play action pass. No. There's no. the first Sun Devil timeout. Timeout. Arizona State. First timeout. Got a timeout on the field. 117 left in a one point ball game in Madison. 117 left in the ball game. Wisconsin has a second and 10. Arizona State has two timeouts remaining. Clay. Room up the middle. Inside the 20. Clay to the 18-yard line. They will measure for a first down. The wheels are turning. If it's a first down and you're Arizona State, about the only chance you have is to let them score a touchdown, go up by eight, and you'd have a chance to tie it. Have a chance to come back, at least with a chance to score. Now, John Clay, early in this game, it looked like he wasn't going to be a real factor. He'd come in with eight straight 100-yard rushing games. But, but the patience of Wisconsin's coaching staff to stay with their game plan. Yeah. Eventually, that 6'5", 323-pound average offensive line took control of it. Arizona State has used its second timeout. Let's take a look back at our Chick-fil-A drive recap. a very very important drive here and a great play calling by Paul Chris the offensive coordinator you really couldn't really zero in on any one particular player in no. Wisconsin who was going to get the ball next thing you know John Clay finally gets it and does his thing getting to the end zone for the touchdown but this has been a game of missed opportunities oh so close for Arizona State all right we say let Wisconsin score and you go up by eight, but Wisconsin doesn't have to run into the end zone. All I have to do is kneel down because Arizona State's got one timeout left. 
They're in that the best formation in football. Yes, sir. Tolzien will kneel down. Arizona State uses its last timeout. Timeout. Arizona State. Arizona State will look back on this game as one of missed opportunities. Two passes into the end zone. One that should have been caught for a touchdown. Another that was so close, reviewed and was not given the score and then the tackle by Shelton Johnson on the 95 and a half yard kickoff return then the blown pass interference and then the mistake on pass protection on kick protection and the extra point goes awry that, that kickoff return that you saw there for those who just joined us that was the last play of the first half that's why that that that, that half yard is a difference between points no points and perhaps winning a football Strike game. Seven or nothing. And, you know, it, it, again, I, I'd say this. Wisconsin showed a lot of character and courage today because several of their players had to be helped off the field. Sure did. Especially on defense. And Arizona State, young football team, only one senior starting in this, in this game today. Uh, they learned a lot. They learned that they can go on the road and compete against a really good team. I think they're, they are going to be a factor in what is a vastly improved Pac-10 this year, don't you think? Steven three to quarterback showed a whole lot today. Yep. I guarantee you Wisconsin's glad that Mr. Three won't come back through here. Yeah. He was <laughs> extremely impressive. 21 of 33 for 211 yards. Ran the offense beautifully. Well, he beat Wisconsin as the Michigan quarterback. He's not going to beat them as the Arizona State quarterback, at least not this year. But the Sun Devils, a football program that, as they told us this week, we, we got to get over the hump. We need a game like this where they've got to win. They're tired of the moral victories. Wisconsin hangs on by its fingernails and wins it. 20 to 19. It's a long walk there for Dennis Erickson. And you can tell tell it. Brett Bielema, 3 0 again at Wisconsin. He has done a brilliant job here as the head coach of this program, taking over for Barry Alvarez. Good ball game. Great trip to Camp Randall Stadium. Enjoyed it. You've always wanted to come here, and it lived up to it, didn't it? Sure did. Once again, the final score, Wisconsin 21, Arizona State 20. For Craig James and our entire ABC crew, this is Mike Patrick saying so long from Madison, Wisconsin. Now we send you back to the studio. Thanks for watching, everyone.